Okay, so uh, today we're just going to have a little talk about how we train our grip. Um, one of the many things you can do for grip training is static holds. So the idea being you, you progressively load the weight as much as you can, uh, adding a little bit of weight each week and you're basically just going to pick the weight up and hold on to it for dear life as long as you can until it falls out of your hands. Now, one of the ways that we can make this more effective is by varying the thickness of the grip of the implement that you're going to hold. A standard uh, dumbbell has the standard uh, thickness handle which is okay to start off with but as weights progress and the grip gets stronger one of the many ways you can improve this is by using a thick bar. So what we've got here is a simple implement just made from a bit of uh, 50 mil steel pipe and um, you know can barely get the hand round it. I've got quite big hands, they just about go around. Um, now, the way to, to use this is to put it on a chain. The reason for that is twofold. One, we can vary the, the thickness of the grip implement with different pipes, but more importantly, we can hook it onto the dumbbell, therefore meaning that when we pick the dumbbell up, we're only lifting it off the ground couple of inch so we can hold on to it for as long as possible till it physically falls out of the hand and then we know it's only going to drop a couple of inch instead of from waist height. So there we have it, simply hook them on quite easily like that and roll the weight over it, bring them into position, level it up and there you go, there you have it. What we have here is a 235 pound dumbbells and then the weight of these which is probably about another 10 pound so all in all we've got 145 pound in each hand and all we're going to do is chalk the hands up and then hold on to it like your life depends on it. Now this, one of the ways that I like to do this is to take my mind to another place. When I pick the, the weight up I'm, I'm aware, I'm on some sort of desert island, sipping a cocktail, whatever, whatever it takes to, to block out the pain and hold on to it forever. What are the results though, Dan? Let's show us your forearms. What does it build? Grip, it would make an oyster wince. That's the forearm, the grip, the beat. Uh, just tell us about the story, Dan. Well, we were at uh, one British Strongest Man event back in 2007. And anybody that's interested in grip probably knows about the Captain's of Crush. They had a Captain of Crush 2.5 uh, on us on the day. And we bumped into none other than the two times world's strongest man, Yuko Arola from Finland. Had a nice little chat with him, asked him to have a go, which he obliged. Uh, and he was about, I don't know, 5 10 mil off closing the 2.5. And then he passed it back to me, at which point I closed it for him. <laughs> And the lad was amazed. <laughs> there was a two times world strongest man humbled by a small man from Wigan. The natural, we need to add natural, natural, natural as well. Man, natural, natural not artificial grip, Dan, is it? That's correct. Alright, show us how it's done then. <clears throat> Are you going to set the timer? Oh, I've got the timer on the camera. So, liberal application of chalk. But not so much as it looks like you've been baking muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Important to uh, set your grip, set your uh, stance I should say, get comfortable. <clears throat> and you're going to reach down, force the hand into the, the, uh, the pipe, wrap the fingers around and then lock the thumb over the finger like that. And that helps, that helps as well. So we're going to do that with that one, that with that one. Sometimes you're just going to fiddle around a little bit till you're completely comfortable. Are you able to give the time as we go, do you? Oh, indeed. Right. Three, 
10 seconds. He's off on the beach, the lad. Sipping the cocktail. Good. Good. Thirty five seconds. Forty. Go on. Fifty. Good. Oh, the left just let me down. Usually the weaker hand just sets the surprise open and once it's got to a certain point ah, there's nothing you can do, it's gone. But did you see the weights barely dropped? Obviously for a shorter man you would just adjust the length of the chair. Oh you'd never get it off the floor.